All right, Robbie D, uh, nice work out there at the Good Life Fitness Victoria Half Marathon. Thanks, Chris. You're focusing on the New York City Marathon. Yeah. So today was kind of a preparation race, was it? Yeah, I guess today was a good chance to get a good hard effort over the half marathon distance. Um, it's been interesting building towards New York, which is the goal in four weeks. But uh, just taking a different approach. Try, I'm not as fast as I once was, so I'm just kind of running for the enjoyment and the love of it. And But I still want to run fast, so today was just go out and see kind of where the fitness was at. It's not quite where I'd want it to be, but I can work with it, definitely. So yeah, it, was, you know, it is what it is. Good run. Now, I know you wanted to um, just be a little bit faster than 107 and yeah, yeah. 220 in New York. So where do you think you're at then? Oof. Well, the good thing is I have four weeks until New York because I don't think I'm in sub 220 shape right now given the fact that I barely kept that pace for a half, right? But you can do a lot of good work in three weeks, so hopefully I can really just... I'm just going to friggin' hammer for the next three weeks and see where see where the, the legs lie for New York. I got nothing to lose. And, I mean, the pressure is off. Right now I'm just running for my own personal goals. Um, I, you know, I'm not running a PB or anything anymore, so I'm just running for the enjoyment. But I still want to run fast. So, yeah, uh, come New York. Still going to be trying to run sub-220. We'll just see, see if it happens or not, because if it doesn't happen, whatever. It's, it's still going to be a great race. Well, you're going to taper from New York. I, I assume you didn't taper for this race. No, I trained through this race. Yeah, I still hit 160K, which is kind of the new norm. You know, I used to get two. I used to run a lot more. But, uh, yeah, so still had a big week. Still did some, a lot of good training. So trained through this. This is a good, hard, longer run. I wish I held it together a little bit more in the last 10K. I maybe lost my focus a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so... Yeah, like I said, tapers for New York, three weeks of hard training. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So let's talk about your afterlife now. You're a coach. Yes. And you have a, uh, some athletes uh, running today. Yeah, yeah. It's been really, really fun coaching. I've, I've made that transition. I, I, I coach for uh, Adidas, Adidas Runners Vancouver in Vancouver. I coach for Mile to Marathon with Dylan Wikes in Vancouver, and I had some athletes running today. And it's really good because it's like this sport is something that I love and it's something I always want to be a part of. And being able to coach and kind of, you know, because I've done it on my own for so long, so I kind of know what it's like to go through it. So it, it, I really get I really get a kick out of helping other runners like better themselves as runners. And it was really cool. Just we were just before we were talking there, one of my runners came across the line and she hit one of her goals. So I was really pumped about that because it's it's fun. Um, I love running. I'm a runner, so it's you know it's for all just the community here and to help where I can is really, really cool. Yeah. That's great. Uh, well, thanks for this and uh, good luck with uh, whatever happens in New York. Uh, I appreciate it, Chris. Thanks so much, man.